We look at Korea's main industries and foreign investor success stories to present Korea's outstanding investment environment. Explore potential opportunities to grow with Korea. Hello, I'm Shin Ayong. Until today, the growth of the Korean chemical industry has been largely driven by the manufacturing sector that includes automobiles, electric vehicles, and textiles. Now at a crossroads, how will Korea's chemical industry advance from here? Korea's chemical industry has 9.816 million tons of ethylene productive capacity and total sales of $11.9 billion, ranking fourth and fifth in the world, respectively. Korea also has three major petrochemical complexes that are further stabilizing the scale and economy of the chemical industry. However, the rapid paradigm shift in the mobility sector, including EVs, is leading to massive investments across the world in secondary cells, semiconductors, OLEDs, hydrogen economy, and other high-tech industries. Amid these changes, the demand for specialty chemical materials that can be used as raw materials is expected to rise. Global chemical companies that have entered the Korean market are supplying high value-added chemical materials to meet the demands of the mobility industry, semiconductors, secondary cells, EVs. An increasing number of foreign invested companies are trying to enter the value chain of Korea's high-tech industries. The fourth industrial revolution, the U.S.-China trade war, and the COVID-19 crisis are relocating the pre-existing efficiency-based global value chains to regions near the companies that demand the goods in order to secure supply chain stability and improve crisis management, forming regional value chains. The Korean government has recognized the strategic importance of carbon neutrality. Through the upgraded Green New Deal, the government will devise and support R&D businesses for developing carbon reduction technologies for each carbon-intensive industry. New budgets have been put aside in 2022 for carbon capture, utilization, and storage technology, the transition to low-carbon industrial processes, and the establishment of an ecosystem with a virtuous carbon cycle. The driving force of the Korean industrial sector at large, the chemical industry will now lay the foundation for specialty chemical materials and eco-friendly industries. The new development points of the chemical industry that reflect the government, industrial, and market trends will propel the growth of the industry and offer novel business opportunities to foreign invested companies. Korea possesses outstanding technology and the government support in the field of fine chemicals. Many foreign investors are already operating in Korea and growing with the industry. Today, we'll meet one company that's leading the world's chemical industry, BSF Korea. Today, I'm at BSF Korea. Since entering the Korean market in 1954, they've been an active player in the Korean chemical industry. Come with me to listen to their success story here in Korea. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. Thank you for inviting us to your office. Thank you for coming over. BSF is operating eight large-scale production facilities in Korea and in Suwon. There's an R&D center and also the regional headquarters for electronics materials. So why, why Korea? <laughs> You're perfectly informed. And, <laughs> uh, we at BSF, we put our customers in the center of everything. And we all know that, that there are global players in this country, like a Samsung, like an LG, like a Hyundai, Kia. And to be close to those, it's very important uh, to have also a, a reasonable footprint here. And we decided very early to put production facilities into the country. And then over the time, we have seen actually that um, there's a very good track record of investments here in Korea mm -hmm. on one hand. On the other hand, also a world-class operational excellence. 
And these two led finally to more investments and will for sure lead to more investments even into the future. Right. That's also one reason why today mm -hmm. uh, Korea is the fourth largest chemical industry or has the fourth largest chemical industry worldwide and is the second largest industry in Korea itself. The Korean government plans to establish a carbon neutral operation base and invest 4.8 trillion won by 2025. And all of this is part of this bigger goal of effectively achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. So how does that affect your business? BSF definitely sees it as an opportunity. That's why BSF is globally a leading frontier when it comes to sustainability. We halved carbon emissions since 1990, while increasing, doubling the um, product sales volumes. Um, on our journey to climate neutrality, we, we put ourselves even stronger goals by making BSF carbon neutral by 2050. Right, so that's, well, that could ultimately benefit, I guess, your business as well, because that could open new doors. I mean, it's a challenge, right? Absolutely. Our low emission and CO2 free technologies, together with our new Verbund site in southern China, will enable us to meet these goals. And this despite significant growth. Uh, based on your successful business model in Korea, do you have any advice or tips to potential foreign investors? So, as, as I stated before, and we all know, there are many, many aspects and reasons to invest in Korea. Let's name them again. So, it's, it's a logistics hub into Asia. Um, you have a very high educated workforce uh, because of the, the college graduation rate, uh, very high level of ICT. Um, my advice to, to potential investors would be that you start talking to Kotra. Um, then also get um, engaged with, with the chambers of your country and also, for example, from European Union. They will make then happen that you start talking to companies of a comparable background. And uh, finally, you have to see all the, let's say, um, opportunities which, which this country offers, um, but also the watch outs. Um, to name an opportunity, definitely the Korean New Deal is mm -hmm. now... Um, definitely to look into it. Um, on the other hand, a watch out is um, the higher regulated Korean market compared, for example, uh, the, the, the European one when it comes to uh, the REACH um, activities. And um, so after you've done that and have done a proper due diligence, then finally you have to make up your mind. Mm -hmm. Is it a rep office which you want to create, a legal entity, or you go with a Korean partner and, and create a joint venture? Mm -hmm. Okay, so simply put, talk to people because there's lots of resources and opportunities, right? And if I might add, watch FDI Focus. <laughs> Shameless plug right there. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us. FDI Focus will be back with more information for potential investors. We wish you all the success in Korea. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.